in one sixth gravity, everything would weigh one sixth or 16.7 percent of its earth weight. In other words, a 180 pound man would weigh a mere 30 pounds. Think about this, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm going to strip away some of the bull that NASA has been shoving down your throats for years. Writers were speculating on the athletic abilities of men on the moon a long time before the space program and Apollo. They based their calculations on one-sixth gravity because that's what the scientists told us the gravity on the moon would be. And the public was anticipating some of these spectacular athletic feats when astronauts explored the moon. Do you remember seeing any? None were ever performed, ladies and gentlemen. There just weren't any. And you say, well, they were weighted down with these big, giant, heavy suits. Mm hmm. We take a conservative approach in determining the relative jumping ability of astronauts in one sixth gravity versus Earth gravity. A complicating factor, folks, is the alleged weight of the spacesuits and backpacks worn by the astronauts. Now, here's where the fun begins. You see, NASA claimed, NASA claimed it's their own figures. I didn't make this up, and you can check yourself. NASA claimed that the gear weighed 185 pounds. Let me repeat that so that there's no misinterpretation. 185 pounds. Now this is a terribly oppressive weight to carry on the earth. But folks, it would be no problem whatsoever in one-sixth gravity. That is assuming that, that the astronauts weighed 185 pounds and their gear weighed the same. And these are the NASA figures and the astronauts, all of them, weighed pretty close to that figure. The total combined weight, ladies and gentlemen, in one-sixth gravity would be only 62 pounds. Now just ruminate on that a little bit. If the astronaut weighed 185 pounds, and his entire suit, all of his gear, weighed another 185 pounds. The equivalent combined total weight in one-sixth gravity would be only 62 pounds. And I'm here to tell you I could do amazing things if I weighed 62 pounds anywhere. Anywhere at all. But we didn't see any of that, did we? You see, this is still only one-third of an astronaut's body Earth weight without any gear. Are you beginning to understand? Therefore, the astronauts should have been able to jump vertically far higher than they could on Earth without any burden. And you remember when they were tooling around in that little car and they were spinning their wheels and the dirt was flying up, making a rooster tail? Well, folks, that dirt didn't fly up very high, and it didn't stay up in the air. It came down really quick. And according to statistics, dust in a one-sixth gravity atmosphere. In fact, an atmosphere only 2% as dense as Earth's atmosphere. That dust should still be floating around somewhere, shouldn't it? But it didn't. How are we going to explain this? Okay, when he hits the craters and starts bouncing is when he gets his rooster tail. He makes sharp turns. Hey, that was a good stop. Those wheels just locked. Mark off. There's a big craters there, though, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know yeah. any of those holes. They want four minutes worth, John. Well, was a minute and five. Maybe you can do it twice more. Surely. Okay, turn sharp. <laughs> I have no desire to turn sharp. <laughs> okay, here's a sharpie. Hey, that's great. Man, those things, when, it, when those wheels really dig in, Don, John, when you turn, it's when you get the rooster tail. The uh, Charlie? The system on that thing is fantastic. That yeah. sounds good. Uh, we sound like we've probably got enough of the Grand Prix. We're willing to let you go on from here. Call out a Grand Prix. Okay. 
Man, that was all four wheels off the ground there. Okay, Max, stop. Okay, I don't want to do that. Okay, excuse me. They say that's a no-no.